what's up guys and welcome back to my channel today I have an unboxing of a preload bag I bought off of eBay now it's my first time purchasing a preload bag so I'm not sure what to expect but I've been saving up for a, either a Gucci or a YSL bag and that's why I didn't want to spend too much money on a lower end designer bag so I decided to go for a preload bag and we'll see if it's worth the purchase or not I did purchase this for under $90 so that was a pretty good deal and it's a bag I've been wanting for quite a while I just didn't want to pull the trigger quite yet because I couldn't find it for anything cheaper than $200 and I actually found it for $90 but like I said it is used and I got it off of eBay so let's see if I got myself a good deal or not <music> Wrapped up. Okay, well, let's see. Did a nice job of wrapping this for me. And it's the Rebecca Mika Flow Crossbody Black on Black, Black Hardware. I mean, it's okay. The hardware, this seems pretty good condition, it's not scratched up or anything. Now let's look at the chain, get it feeling inside. It doesn't have no smell to it, so that's good. Here is the chain. Let's see. I mean, it has a little bit of wear right here let me see the chain the chain seems to be pretty good too the hardware doesn't really look scratched so that's good okay and it has a nice weight to it yeah, Trying to see if I see any scratches. I mean, the back does look a little bit dented. But I mean, that's going to be facing towards my body, so it doesn't really matter. There's the side of it. And this, I'm pretty sure, what time it was going to do like that, anyways. But honestly, for under $90, I think that is such a good deal. And like I said, I didn't want to spend over $200 for a lower-end designer bag when I'm saving up for a higher-end designer bag. I will link down the seller I purchased it from because I believe she did or he, I'm not even sure if it's a he or she, but they did have more bags for sale and they also look pretty good quality and also for an inexpensive amount. I will just clean it up with a little wipey. And there also is another slip pocket back here. This is magnetic. Put my phone back here. And here is the Rebecca Minkoff little logo plaque. It says it right here. And it says it right here. I 
mean, this is a little dented right here. But I'm assuming they didn't have this bag stuffed. So I will put some tissue paper to stuff it. Just to make sure it'll hopefully <laughs> return to its normal structure. Then hopefully take out some of these dents. But honestly, for $90, I'm mad at it. So it has one zippered pocket. A slip pocket right here. And if I flip it over, it has another slip pocket right here. And another one right here. And it's pretty clean. It did not come with a dust bag, but I mean, I don't mind it because I do have a Rebecca Minkoff dust bag already anyways. So I'm going to clean this up, stuff it, and then I'll see, maybe make a review once I start using it and see how it's holding up. Now I did clean it up with a little hand sanitizer wipe and I just noticed a little scratch right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see a little bit of the bronze that's underneath the black and a little scratch right there. But nothing major. I cleaned up the back of it too. Now I've stuffed it with tissue paper and it already looks 10 times better. So I want to keep the tissue in there for a couple of days. Just so I can see how well it'll hold the shape again if it'll stay like this and not so dented. So, yeah, I always keep your bag stuffed with the tissue paper they come with and keep them in their dust bag. And that'll help the longevity of your bag. It'll stay as good as when you first purchased it. Of course, it's a used bag, so gotta deal with what I got. But there we go. So that is it. Thanks for watching. I know it was a quick video, but just my first time purchasing a preload bag. I ain't mad at it. Happy with the purchase, and maybe if I, you know, see another lower designer bag I'm interested, maybe I'll purchase the pre-loved one, maybe not, we'll see. But, yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't, it will, will really help me out and make me really happy if I thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>